So next week we expect to see Ashbrit, a company contracted out by SCDOT, start going around Anderson County, getting their plans together to remove debris from the sides of the roadway. The first thing you're going to see is them actually cutting limbs that are hanging out over the roadway and over areas. Those are dangerous to the public, so they're going to go ahead and knock those out, get those down, get those on the side of the road as well. And then you'll start seeing the debris trucks uh, come in and they'll have claw trucks that actually grab the debris, put it in the truck and take it off to a debris management site where it'll be chipped up. So what we're asking the general public to do is make sure that you get your debris out to the side of the road by October the 14th. And what that allows us to do is it allows us to get it in a manner that they can pick it up easily. Uh, so you can see right here, uh, these people actually cut it up uh, in manageable sizes so they can move it easier, but you can actually make it even larger than this. If you're cutting it up yourself, you want it to be 12 foot or less in length. If it is a whole tree on the side of the roadway, don't worry about cutting that whole tree up. Uh, they can come in and help uh, cut that tree up as long as it's within that 10 foot section from the roadway onto your property. It's a 10 foot section that they can reach out. One of the big things we want to recommend is do not put that debris in the roadway. Uh, don't cause any traffic hazards. If you look right here, they've got a good section in between the roadway and the debris and it just allows us safe driving, especially at nighttime when it's gonna be harder to see those limbs hanging out in the roadway. One thing we really wanna point out is pedestals uh, like you see here. You do not wanna pile debris around that pedestal. If you pile debris around the pedestal, the claw that they actually come to pick us up with could damage this, could uh, take your entire neighborhood without internet. Uh, you also wanna look out for things like fire hydrants, mailboxes and anything that could be in the way of that claw picking it up. Anything that the claw could potentially damage. So you want a separation just like they have right here. You want to make sure that separation is there and that the pedestal is very easily noticeable to the truck drivers that are coming to get this debris. So all of those dump trucks and the company that's coming will actually be using dual trailer semi trucks that hold about 200 cubic yards each. Um, so the plus or minus about 10% is what they, they're telling us. And those loads will be going to debris management sites where the trees will be ground up into four inch wood chips. So it's not like the mulch you see in your backyard that you want to use for landscaping, but that mulch can be reused at landfills as cover whenever they start covering the landfills. Uh, there's other beneficial uses that we're exploring to be able to take this debris and do something good with it. So all of the smaller municipalities within Anderson County have also signed the same agreement we did with South Carolina Department of Transportation. So the Department of Transportation is actually the one that have uh, competitively bid and contracted Ashbrit and their monitoring firms to come out to help remove all this debris, monitor it, and ensure we're getting FEMA reimbursement from this um, because we don't want the taxpayers of Anderson to be fully responsible for all of this. We want the federal government to help with that effort as well. For any updates and information about any storm debris or any Helene related activities in Anderson County, you can visit emd andersonsheriff.org forward slash Helene.